Exactly five years ago today, Dr. Mayo Stella Dadevo, who detected Ebola in Nigeria, died trying to curb the spread. Our health correspondent Jacqueline Ogo filed this report on the woman who, uh, whose life was cut short in our attempt to save a nation. August 19, 2014, a day that can never be forgotten in Nigeria's history. It was the day Nigeria lost one of its finest senior doctors. Ameyo Stella Adedevo, who was committed to professional excellence and the safety of Nigerians. She fought bravely to curb the spread of Ebola in the country and died doing so. Patrick Sawyer, a Liberian American, had come into the country for a conference but was admitted at the first consultant hospital Lagos where Dr. Adedevo worked for 21 years. With her high intellect, she speedily detected Sawyer had Ebola. She restricted his movement and alerted the government of Lagos State immediately. Dr. Ameyo Stella Adadevo passed on at the age of 57. She was the daughter of a medical professor, a real chief of the old block. And she left behind a son, Bankole Kadoso who is an expert in empowering communities with solar energy. To keep her legacy alive, Dr. Adadevo's family set up the Dr. Ameyo Stella Adadevo Health Trust, known as DRASA. The NGO trains health professionals on safety skills. As a family, after losing her, we knew we had to do something. We weren't sure what we wanted to do, but we wanted to do something that would fill some of these gaps, some of these address some of these issues and make sure that our public health is safeguarded, that we're protected against any pathogen or deadly virus that wants to come into our borders. And so that's why we set up DRASA Health Trust. It was a, it was a massive loss for all of us. Grandma is okay. Um, it's hard, of course. You know, nobody wants to bury their child. And it's five years down the line now, and it's still painful. Lagos has a population of over 20 million people, not to talk of the rest of Nigeria with over 180 million people. If Ebola had had a free way into the country, it would have caused a huge medical atrocity too big to handle. Ameyo Stella Adadevo became the ransom for lives. Jacqueline Ogo, TVC News, Lagos.